Noon, this club is one of the oldest women's volunteer organizations in the world. We're talking about the Mississippi Federation of Women's Clubs. And joining us live right now is the state president, Teresa Bunton. How are you doing this afternoon? I'm doing awesome. Thank you. And thank you for coming and joining us. Tell us a little bit about your club. Well, our organization, I'm the state president of the Mississippi Federated Women's Clubs. We are under the umbrella of the GFWC, or General Federated Women's Clubs. We are a volunteer organization. GFWC is one of the world's largest and oldest volunteer organizations. So we're so proud that GFWC Mississippi, we're proud to be a member uh, up under the umbrella of GFWC. Now, one thing that's really interesting, this was actually formed, this organization was formed because women weren't allowed to volunteer. Absolutely, absolutely. They were not even allowed to vote at that time. So this organization um, was really um, organized in the late 1800s. MFWC, Actually, we became under the umbrella of the GFWC mm -hmm. in 1904. Now, how many volunteer clubs do you have in the Northern District? We have around 10 because we have um, a variety of ages from 10 to 100. So anyone can volunteer no matter the age. And we have juniorette clubs which have younger members as well. So we have from 10 to 100. All right, and we do have some pictures to be able to show. This is just some of the things that you do. Um, tell us a little bit about some of the other nonprofits that you support. We support um, St. Jude's, we um, do uh, March of Dimes, um, we support Easter Seals, and a lot of the different organizations with arts. Um, actually, we participated with the um, arts in the Mississippi State University a couple of years ago with our President's Special Project. Now, what is it that you want people to know when it comes to your organization? Okay, so what I would like to everyone to know my president's special project is getting back to our GFWC roots promoting public libraries education and literacy we believe in lifelong learning and our clubs have embraced this throughout all the communities and a lot of them have already made the focal point of their community is the library by holding events and activities mm -hmm. for all ages. So we want to, um, we volunteer. We're a volunteer organization. We volunteer our monies, we volunteer our times. Mm -hmm. All right then, well thank you so much there, Miss Teresa Bunton for joining us this afternoon. Thank you so much.